Hello, friends and family, and welcome to our Friday, October 16th edition of our Boring Meditation Stuff. Yesterday, I was talking about death and the very real, constant, lingering um, threat of death. And I was also talking about... Um, Octavia E. Butler's book, Parable of the Sower, which I'm reading now. Um, partly because I don't read nearly enough fiction. <laughs> and I'm enjoying it a lot. It's very good. But I'm also listening to a book at the same time as it comes out. Um, Paul Fleischman is releasing his book, um, Cultivating Inner Peace, Nonfiction, obviously, as he produces chapter by chapter podcasts uh, where he reads the book and it's it's quite enjoyable i I like his style of reading, his delivery um, his tone and one of the recent chapters of Cultivating Inner Peace had him describe or describe um, a figure he liked as having said that death or the way that one dies is a measure of one's life or how one has lived. And this is the core of the idea that I was trying to get to yesterday, which is that we are at a very high level preparing ourselves for death with meditation, trying to learn equanimity and to learn equanimity with awareness not to react but it's sometimes phrased or structured in such a way particularly in Buddhist countries I've found that it makes it seem as though we're practicing specifically for death and only for death <laughs> that um, the rest of our life has no measure, no value. And this is simply not true. The rest of our life is the window through which we can see these inner changes. And they may not be consistent, they may not be perfect. We won't be better and better one day after another after another as we march toward death. But overall, we're trying to progress ourselves. We are trying to better ourselves. And the kind of equanimity that we hope to learn in meditation, which will ready us for such an uncomfortable experience, such a terrifying experience as death. That sort of equanimity surely will benefit us in our day-to-day -day lives. Something goes wrong in a meeting. We have an accident. Someone close to us is hurt. Someone says something we don't like something we really wanted to have happen ends up not happening. These are many deaths along the road we're taking and how we respond to each one, how we deal with each one is cumulatively the life lived when we do die and 
when we look back over our life, we will see how we've done. <laughs> how did we manage with the challenges that were presented to us? Um, what's our score? <laughs> and um, we won't have done perfectly, but we will have certainly tried our best in every circumstance and hopefully equipped ourselves with some tools so that we can do better in 2021 than perhaps we did in 2020. I'm not sure how everyone else did this year. This is the intention of serious meditation practice. To equip ourselves with the tools, automatic tools, no less. They should work on their own. They should change our habits. But tools which make our every day on earth more effective, tools which make us more compassionate, more peaceful, more equanimous. I hope everyone who is listening to these is getting a chance to try to make use of those tools, and I hope that um, in doing so, that you're taking good care of yourselves good care of everyone around you, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Goodbye.